Hi guys, it's William Kane. I'm back for another video. Unfortunately, I still can't show up my face because in my new apartment there is no you know, flights, but I'm definitely working on it. Anyway, today we are going to take a closer look at the Riffer interface from Ample Sound, which is kind of great and intuitive for guitar player like me. So check it out. Okay, so it's a classic rock and roll song that I've called uh, My Ranch in Texas. Sorry if it, if it sounds a bit cliche, but I'm terrible at finding titles for my songs. But anyway, uh, so before we begin, just to make sure that the tempo is set at 120 BPM, all right, that the uh, track delay, uh, the, the delay of the track in which your plugin is loaded is set at minus 50 milliseconds, okay? Uh, then go to open the plugin, uh, go to main, the main view, uh, make sure the start knob is uh, set at the minimum zero, 0 milliseconds, that the peak accentuation knob is also set at the minimum. Uh, then go to the effects sections, deactivate the reverb, uh, then go to riffer. Uh, just load a new riff by clicking on that button. Then make sure that the time signature is set at uh, 8 slash 4 triple, okay? Uh, that the tempo is set at 100 BPM too, or just uh, click on the riff sync toggle. And then that the riff quantization is uh, set at the 8 slash 8 value. Okay, and then we can begin. All right, so the lines on the left are the strings of the guitar. So uh, to start uh, programming the riff, we're gonna just left click on the E1 line at the beginning at position 1.1. Then you go on the edge of the, or over the edge of the MIDI note, you click, you hold, and you drag it uh, to the right, just once, okay? Then we're gonna click again on an the E1 string, okay, just before position 1.2. Then at position 1.2, we click on G2, oh, then D2, okay. You go over the edge, you click, you hold, and you extend it twice. And same thing with the D2, all right? You can see the note uh, uh, play that, that, that we play on the guitar fretboard uh, just above. Okay, so then uh, we're gonna change the articulations of the two E1 notes. Okay, so you uh, right click on them, you go to articulation, and you select palm mute. You can also do it uh, by just uh, left clicking on the note, then go to uh, the note articulation category, and you click on palm mute. And then you can see uh, with the dotted line that uh, these two notes, okay, are played in palm mute mode. And then we go to we switch to sustain mode for these two uh, MIDI notes. Cool. Then uh, we're gonna change uh, the velocities of these two of, of all the notes we just draw. Okay, so it's a rock song, so we need some punch. So we are going to left click on the fast E1 note. Then we go to velocity and we enter 120, which is almost the maximum. Then for the second E1 note, we'll have uh, something quite softer at 100, say. And for the two uh, MIDI notes that we play in uh, uh, sustain mode, we're going to have 120 as well. Okay, so it sounds quite punchy. 
and it should sound just like this. So to continue, we are going to right click on the first in one note. We are going to select copy. We go to uh, position 1.3, we right click again and select paste. Uh, then same thing for the second in one note, copy and paste. Uh, then for the G2 as well, copy, paste on position 1.4, D2, copy, paste. So you can see that it uh, reproduces all the features we just designed. So palmute mode, sustain mode, and the velocities are the same. So it enables us to go very quickly. And that's awesome. Um, then uh, there we obviously do not want uh, a G2 or a D2 note. We want to change the pitch of them. So uh, just left click on the G2, you hold and you drag it up twice. Okay, so we got an A2 note. And there, uh, for the D2, we are going to do the same. We left click, we hold, and we drag it up until we have an E2. Uh, all right, then uh, again, copy, paste the E1 node on position 1.5. Copy and paste there. This time for this E1 node, we are going to extend it to the right uh, twice. Uh, copy, paste uh, the G2. We are going to paste it on position 1.6. All right, paste. And the D2 nodes, just the same. Paste there. And we are going to uh, make them shorter. Okay, so you do not extend them to, to the right. You do the contrary uh, to the left. Um, then we are going to have another E1 note. So copy and paste paste so right before the position 1.7 then we will have another g2 copy paste on position 1.7 copy there and paste again okay and um no we do not extend them we go to a2 copy paste copy the E2 note and paste. And right there, we are going to have an A2 and an E2 note as well. So there and there. Uh, but we are going to keep their velocities to uh, 80. So it sounds uh, softer, okay? It's a transition note uh, to go to the second measure that we'll, we'll design just after. Uh, but before we shall uh, apply a bit of legato to uh, these two mini notes, so we want them to be hammered, okay? That is to say, when we switch from the G2 and the D2 to the A2 and the E2 notes, we want uh, to have a hammer on, which can be programmed by uh, left clicking on the G2. Then you go to Note Legato uh, over there and you click on HO slash BO, which uh, stands for. Uh, hammer on and pull off. Okay, uh, then you do the same with the D2, not legato, HO slash PO. Um, and then, like the, you can see the, um, the little play signs, uh, which uh, indicates us that the next MIDI notes will be hammered, which is what we want. So uh, then we can like uh, set the velocity of the A2 uh, and the E2 notes to the maximum. 127 and uh, we can make them uh, vibrate so uh, you are uh, left click on the A2 note you go to uh, vibrate or range okay so we won't like have it on to the maximum like 100 because that will be like too much so we're gonna have a sweet vibrator so just um, set it at 20 you can also do it uh, by uh, right clicking on it go to vibrate to range and select 20 and uh, then to trigger the vibrator we need to go to the not vib vibrator rate and we have like four values uh, but I'd say that the like for in this case uh, like sweet vibrator will be better so I'd select the vibrator rate at 1 slash 16 
all right but if you like vibrator you can like put it a little bit higher and the same for the eater notes and what finally i put the velocities of the last midi notes to 40 so it sounds much sweeter just like this and now uh, it should sound uh, like this all right now measure number two so uh, make sure that you have uh, two measures uh, there you can have up to eight but we just need two so then you right click anywhere on the first measure and you uh, select copy measure to measure number two okay so we have the same uh, measure right here uh, but we're gonna have some changes from position 2.7 uh, in the time frame so uh, we do not want a g2 there so you double click on the note okay it disappears then you uh, add a uh, a note there but you make you need to make sure that it's an A1 okay um, then we need to change the velocity uh, set it at 120 uh, again we need uh, to have the legato uh, programmed there so we need to select HO slash PO okay hammer on um, then same thing right there you delete the A2 note and we need to have a B1 right there. So uh, same thing, we need the velocity to be set at 127. Um, we need the vibrator to, uh, we need to program the vibrator. So one slash 16 there and a vibrator range at uh, 20. Uh, again, there we'll erase the A2, we'll have a B1, but this time we're gonna uh, set the velocity at 120 as well there, all right, and there as well. And now we have the riff. So if I come back at the beginning, we shall sure have this. So uh, if you want to have the riff uh, in your MIDI track, uh, just click on the little cross over there and drag it into uh, the MIDI track. Then you press on play in your dough and it should uh, do the same. Um, so I'm not going to uh, show you how to program the bridge and the ending uh, you, you heard uh, at the beginning of the video, but I'm giving you the file. Uh, so uh, if you want them you download them they are in the description right below then uh, so you need to uh, put them uh, in the right folder okay so you go to documents ample sound riffs guitar and it's going to be a, a dot grief file okay so you make sure you have it there then you uh, click on load and it should appear in the library Anyway, so uh, just before we end the video, I'm going to show you the little presets I've uh, used um, at the beginning of the video. So uh, I'm using Guitar Rig. All right, it's coming. Yep, so the preset is Vintage Slapback. All right, um, then I added a little EQ and a bit of compressor and some width. Okay, so it sounds uh, sharper. Then I got a master track too, so I absolutely need to do a uh, tutorial video on that. Okay, so it actually uh, modified the, the, the dynamics of it, so it's uh, important. Uh, but anyway, so uh, you can download the, the, all the audio files to, to have the drums and so on when you practice. So I really hope that you enjoyed the video and see you next time.